working on this chill track. Specifically this upright bass track. So the Ableton tension instrument was not cutting it for me. So I've downloaded the Native Instruments free contact player. <clears throat> and because I know there's a really cool upright bass um, in here. Upright bass. So let's have a listen to this. I need to take this up an octave. That's a lot nicer. Let's bring up some of the highs. We've got the transient shaper on. We'll turn it off and have a listen. Quite like it on. What options do we have in here? Solo mode. So it's mono. I don't think that'll make a difference. Could bring the noise up. Currently has a reverb. Oh, that's nice of the cabinet. Let's try some different ones. That's nice. Um, I want a pitch bend here. So, let's just do this. I don't know if I have pitch bend enabled in the contact patch, so let's have a look. Um, transpose. Bend range down. We'll just, just go random, doesn't really matter. I kind of want this to be quite fast. Bring this back up here. Bring this down. Oops. Should just be able to duplicate this. Hopefully, this is good enough. It's pretty perfect. Um, these notes, let's change a few of these. So this is continuing overing. Continuing overing. I definitely want this to be a bit more open. So let's go to the velocity range. Let's bring all these up for a start. And the cabinet's muting quite a lot of the highs, so let's try a different one, Leslie. That's cool. Give us some drive. Nope. <laughs> now we could probably bring the highs down a little bit. And I want to spread this out, so we'll use the old filter delay trick. Transient Shaper is kind of um, emphasizing the start of the pluck too much, so let's just try limiting it. it sounds a lot nicer. Let's have a listen to here.
across. a bit later. Whoa. Alright, let's have a look at see what else is going on here. It sounds everything sounds quite pushed and you know I know mixing isn't my forte but it definitely is sounding a little bit too much. Let's bring this um falling sound down. Okay so why are these in the synth track? These should be in the other track, so we'll get them down, like so. And you can tell how old this track is because I'm still using eco mode. But you can almost EQ the hives down a bit on this before the reverb. Doesn't need to be that prominent. So we just got the kick. The kicks were really. I mean, what am I doing here? We've got this big ass sub here. Might try and lose the FM, see what it sounds like as a nice pure tone. Probably go down an octave now. Are we going to hear it when it gets down to these low notes though? Mm hmm. Whoa, good sub. Can we get this one? Yeah, okay. This is quite a busy sound, it's not really a sub anymore, so what I'm actually going to do is drag this entire chain out into this uh, bass channel. Give it its own thing. Wait, did I just delete like, the disco bass? I think I did. Uh, let me go ahead and create a new MIDI track. And we'll drag it into that. This one here. Yeah, there's a lot going on in that sound. Um, I wouldn't <laughs> necessarily call it a bass, in fact. So let's copy these down and let's have a play. Look at this kick, see what's going on. I think I need want something a little bit more um, poppy because we don't really need to have too much subs. Look at all these. I 
Let's try that, but I will get rid of the tail. Let's tune it down a little. filter going on here getting a weird stereo effect from that which is kind of strange it's a stereo kick um, let's keep looking that's my preview That could work. Let's EQ that. Transient shape it a wee bit. So I'm not quite happy with that. I do like the snare and everything else, it's just the kick, so. Um, mouse kicks. And that could be good. somewhere. 